We're staying in the field of anti-Semitism, a topic widely covered in our newscast. And today with us in studio is pro-Israeli speaker and influencer Hanania Naftali. Hi Hanania, thank you so much for making time Thanks for Thanks for having me. Many believe that we can't just cancel or otherwise punish people with anti-Semitic uh, views. And you yourself has been, have been an Israeli activist for a very long time. What are authorities and Jewish community members doing right now in the field to battle anti-Semitism, to do something about it? What are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? What I can be done? That, that's a, a great question. I can tell you from my point of view, I was born and raised in Israel and I grew up to love my Jewish uh, culture and traditions. And I think that the way we need to combat anti-Semitism is to simply tell, tell our story, you know, from our personal perspective. Because it feels like to me as a Jew, it feels like these anti-Semites or people that oppose the Jews, they treat us like we're, um, like we're rats, like we're uh, a problem. But we're just normal human beings that we have our faith we go to the synagogue our synagogues do should not have these heavy security uh, i was actually shocked when i visited uh, europe for the first time i visited germany and i wanted to enter a synagogue and i had to go through an airport level security just to pray and i think that this is a question that should, we all should ask ourselves why don't we see uh security in other places of worship why are the jews targeted for having their personal faith. We do not need to conceal our, our identity. You know, th this is a huge problem. Do you think we're enough? I mean, when there's like a war, an operation here in Israel, we see big influencers like Bela Khadid, like Gigi Khadid, people you don't even want to mention their names uh, in a studio like this. But you see one poster posting is getting so, becoming so viral and here in Israel, it seems like influencers and there are not enough people like you, that's for sure, that want to, put their voice out and speak for the Jewish people and for Israel especially. Um, what can be done in the way of like, should we put more budgets in, in it? I mean, what can be done mm -hmm. like official wise? First of all, by all means, but I would say that unity, we need to be united. This is, our enemies are all over us trying to devour us and we need to be united. We, we have too much division and we're, so divided and we cannot you know they say that the the second temple was destroyed because we were not united there was uh inner hate but mo moreover i have to say that it is not present anti-semitism that should intimidate us but rather what the future will be if we don't combat anti-semitism today so by all means i think that we need to tell our stories uh from the personal perspective we're just normal human beings we need to be united we have one enemy, we have to be united and focus on that. And definitely the government should fund this uh, campaign against hatred, 